Hey guys, being here. Um, previously, we did this roof by shape, by face, roof by face. Today, um, we, uh, let's do a roof look like this one. Okay, we're going to use the same um, profile, so this adaptive family. So first, let me just find the mass. The mass is missing here. So I just go to family on the mass. So that's the family edit, and then. So this is the um, massing. So now I'm going to delay this, this mass, delay this, delete everything as well, this one as well. So now go to floor plan, and I'm going to draw some reference, uh, reference line. So spline through points, and then I'm going to do it um, roughly like this. Okay, I'll stop here. And I'm going to move this point to as close as possible. Maybe just stop here, and then go to um, 3D view, and then you can just adjust the height of the point. So this, I'll just raise these two points. So roughly like this one. Okay. So um, that's it. So now. We need to place the adaptive family. So click on the create component. So see this this adaptive family we previously did. Uh, place on this this spline. So actually, when you place this one, so I'll just place one, and you will have you will say it's see it's rotate not not perpendicular to this spline. It just um create an angle i'm not sure why but yeah so let me try uh try to place it some so see it's all it's always um it's not perpendicular not so you can't just create the mass using this. So what we need to do is we need to rotate this. Okay. So um, okay. So let's create a create another adaptive family. So okay. So another generic model adaptive, and I'll place one point here. And then place, uh, make it adaptive, and then place a point. Draw on work plan, set work plan, pick the horizontal work plan, and place it on this uh, adaptive uh, point. And then click this point, drag it up, so it's easier for us to place. Uh, Oh, actually, I'm going to place the uh, the adaptive, so, so the shape, the roof profile, uh, adaptive family onto this point. Okay, so let's go back to 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 here. So and click on this generic model adaptive and edit, and then load into this family. Okay. Oh, hang on. Uh. I think where is it? Hmm. Oh, sorry. Be I think this is a family seven. Let's have a look of this family. Yeah, sometimes see. <laughs> so this 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 adaptive family is family family seven as well. So that's that's something like a. So when you have the same, so even this is a uh, this is a new family we just created. So family seven, and then because previously I did this family and that's family seven as well. So when you try to edit this family, it will go straight into this family. Okay. So what we can do is we just I'll save this save this as I'll save as family eight and save, and now I'll go back. Back to here, so select this family seven and edit family. So now we open this. Uh, we open this uh, uh, adaptive family. 
okay so now let's load this family 7 into family 8 and okay and no and then so place on um, I'm not sure maybe uh, let's try place on face and let's see if I can place it on this point okay and now select this point uh, and see here is a rotation angle let's try if I uh, rotate 45 degree nope don't work or oh, actually because that's because I select the wrong point so this is the point in this adaptive family I'm going to temporarily hide it and then select this point okay this time it's also a um, there's also a rotation angle I'm just going to create a angle parameter I'll just call it a with um, just type parameter on okay so now type hr to, to show this um, adaptive family and then <coughs> excuse me go to family types so and then let's try say 45 yep so see when this point when you rotate this point the adaptive family rotate as well because it's placed onto this point yeah so 90 degree good so okay and now I'll just select this point not this one the other one so this one and I'm just going to play this back onto this adaptive point okay so now we can load this family so this is family 8 I'm going to load it into family 6 okay so uh, load family 6 and OK so now I'm going to select delete all these and then I'll place the family uh, family which one uh, 7 let's see if this one oh no not 7 sorry place Seven, uh, eight, and uh, mm, it's ah, uh, it's not vertical. So let's go back, edit this family again, and check this always vertical and apply, and load back into this family six, and uh, overwrite. So now it's vertical, and also we. Uh, we will have this uh, ang angular parameter so let me I'll just go to top view and I'll just roughly edit type say 90 degrees around about here so I'll top in 7 maybe 70 60 66 uh, yep so that's about it and okay so now if I place some more uh, family 8 and you will see it's always perpendicular to this path right and then so you can just place all um, or oh, actually not no so see when you change when you this when this spline changes the height or it change the angle as well so what we need to do is we because currently it's type parameter so if I change it change all so what we need is edit family and go to family type so edit and then change it to instance and OK and load back into here and OK and override so now we need to go to the top and we need to manually so click on one of that and then uh, maybe 60 or 50 so oh, 70 80 yeah so so you just need to uh, manually change them so it looks like they are all 80 
this one is naughty maybe yeah so okay so I'll just uh, oh, uh, I'll just pretend that it's all finished and then and also we we can't find any uh, parameters here because we haven't associated all the uh, parameters so we need to go back to uh, this family again so click on this family click on this adaptive family so see all this we just need to associate these parameters so edit I'll create another one a1 instance okay okay a2 instance okay okay so this will be offset offset one instance okay okay and the offset two two instance okay and okay so now load back into family six and uh, then once again click on this family so now you will have all these parameters so now let's go to 3d view and then so you can just try to create a uh, hell yeah, so once yep yeah, so now issue so that's the issue so see if I click these three and create form nothing happened so what we need to do is we need to tag okay let's try just tag once okay tag once and see nothing here so then tag twice so we pick this edge and tag twice control select tag twice control select tag twice control select select create a form so now we need to tag twice and select this um model line to create this face so let's do so pick this face tag twice tag twice control select create a form yep so then you just need to um just uh, so select this face and then control uh tab tab control select tab tab control select create form so okay so this is how we can create this um mass um and then the, if you want to change the shape for example if you want to make this wider so you can just change change it here so I'll say it will more automatic um, automatically up uh, upgrade this uh, update this um, mass so let's do it again six meter and maybe select this one if I want to cha change the, the pitch If I want to change this one, if, then yep. Yeah, so yeah, so, so you can just uh, I'm I'll just stop here. So you can just create all the shape, and then probably you will have a have this shape um break this shape here and just hide 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 under this top roof. Okay. Um, I think that's it. So if you have any question, let me know. Uh, I'll I'll probably just upload this this part of the messing, and uh, you can have a have a play. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Um, sorry, I'm back. So um, I found I found that this is very hard. It's very hard to create mass uh, like this, so it's it's okay to create this. But if I continue to create, so for example, I continue to uh, create mass, and then it breaks all the time. So I'm just going to show you a better way to do it. So I'll first delete all the profile, and then just place. Uh, profile place on face and I'm just going to place to uh, maybe 12 so depending on how uh, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you can place more if you want to but uh, I'll just place 12 of them and then 
try tap uh, try to se select uh, the model line so tap 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 control select tap tap control select tap tap control select so just select all the model line so make sure you um, pick the right line not the adapt not the adaptive family so the okay so almost there last one so now you have all the model I select and then you should should have this uh, create form so now this is a messing okay so now we can just drag drag all the profile to to the place okay so sometimes you you won't be able to uh, I don't think you can just drag all the way to here but so you can just drag it halfway here yeah and maybe you can and then you can go a little bit further and then go up there and also you need to continue all uh, these profiles so make sure that it won't like it, it so it won't break yeah it's quite easy if you drag all the way to here and uh, Oh, still okay. So it's okay. So see, sometimes it will just break, but so you just need to do it slowly. Okay, so um. I think it's okay. So, yep, yeah, that's the shape. And then um, some of them, so see, some of them, these are quite perpendicular to the path, some of them are not. So, you just need to uh, rotate them individually. So, this one, change that to the 80, maybe 90, okay. This one maybe 90 as well. Uh, this one 90 as well. This one 90. Yep. Okay, so this one needs to rotate. Maybe 80. Yep, so this one 80. Yep, all good. So, and then, uh, then you can, for each one, you can change the the, the pitch, the the width, something like that. Yep. And also, if you want to change the level, so you just need to go to these. Oops. Yes. Yeah, so make sure when you when this here touch touch here, it will break. Okay. So. Okay, so this is a mess, and then you can just create a, a project and then load this into the project. And you actually you can also um, I think it's e it's it's e it's easier to do it as a in place mess because once you have walls, all the walls, everything there, it's um, it's easier to adjust mass to match all the you know other elements so now here i'm just going to load this into the project and i'll just place it here and then have a look so this is the mass and uh, let's create a roof by face pick pick create roof so now we have this nice organic shape roof just you can yeah you can just drag them to close to each other so you won't and uh, just hide them. Okay, just pretend it's not there. It's 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 very nice connect. Okay, so that's it. Yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with this result. Um, I hope you like it. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.